Okay, I went in there. I went there and put an end on that spark plug wire right there. I'm gonna make a new one, but ne never fear that we should have a good contact. The uh, that there will be uh, a project for the beach in there shortly. So while, while we're let's start it again. Is that was the point? That was the point of putting that on there. The speed controls in the middle of that. The needle valve is open. Uh, let's just see. Oh, it's closed. So right there's a half a turn, and that's a turn. So I'm gonna go back just a shade. Not hardly a turn. The uh, crank. Bring it around to where that you like. If this crank was up here like this, you'd be pushing against it. You, you only you only need to make the magnet a trip. It's, it's I like starting a Model T. You 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 have to you have to think old time when you working on an engine. Old time. She got some rattles in her, you know. Uh, it definitely, this is definitely one that, uh, if you were going to use it, you would do a rebuild on it. But and then there's there's several several configurations of these flywheels. Uh, if you was going to make this into a portable uh, stationary engine, move about the farm, then you would take this off and drill and put a handle in here, and that way you'd have your handle with you. The handle that came with this engine was about this long. This engine just sat way back on that baler and you couldn't hardly get to it. So it did have a, uh, a long handle and just it's about a turn.
And I usually set that about middle ways there. The um, and to check your to check your uh, push rod clearance is you you bring it around to where the, it's off cam and then you roll them around like that right there. I, I think probably maybe just them hot. I think when you adjust these right here, them good. But uh, let's uh, let's see if it start again. Come around there about a turn, uh, crank and choke it one time.